Just last month, a photographer uh, who now lives in Canada contacted Peroni and said that he'd been going through his papers and he found these four photographs he took in the 1960s when he was a student in Belfast. Um, he was uh, acting on behalf of the Gown, the Queen's magazine, and he was replacing the photographer who was supposed to take the shots, who had no interest in seeing the Beatles because he didn't like them. So this guy got a free concert. Uh, he himself has admitted that he didn't actually like the Beatles either, but it was free, and um, they were world famous at that stage. So he took the pictures for the Gown magazine, uh, presented them to be published. They were never published, never used, and he's just found them again uh, after what, 50 years. Um, he'd actually been in contact with us last year and he's deposited some other material with us, uh, photographic material, and we'd already established the contact, so we just got back in contact with my colleague Lorraine, and we were looking to refresh our Flickr feed with some new information, and I thought these two married perfectly together, and one thing led to another, and now, yeah, it's been featured as Prony's Document of the Month, and the set of photographs have gone up on our Flickr feed just today. And like, just how important is it from a, from a social context to, to have this sort of material? Well, I think it opens things up. You know, I didn't know the Beatles had played Belfast, never, let alone twice. I've found out since they played night also in 1963. So um, that got me to think that there were people out there, obviously, who are, still, who are still with us, who were at the concert as teenagers, and I thought it'd be good to get that information out onto our Flickr photo stream or get it out as a, the, the Prony Document of the Month, so it might rejig people's memories uh, of, of going to see the Beatles playing, playing at the King's Hall just at that time when it, they were at the height of their sort of Instant teeny bobber phase, you know, with their, their dream pipe trousers and their, 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 their mop tops, you know, and um, they're playing here in Belfast at the King's Hall. Um, also, I think the photographs themselves are great in that they show the King's Hall looking very much like a church stage, you know, in a, a church hall. There's um, bare pipes in the walls, the walls are bare, there's a few amps, the guy standing on the stage, and that's it, you know, and they were playing to 16,000 people apparently that night. Uh, so it was a pretty large concert, and when you sort of compare it to what you get today, you have rockets and lasers and huge video screens, it does seem quite basic, but then I suppose that shows you the power the Beatles had, you know, it's just the guys and their, and their instruments. And Ian, like, it's obviously important for, for, for people to contact you and to have this sort of archive material, so what, what would your appeal be to people out there? Well, my appeal would be to people, like, if, no matter how inconsequential people think these fo photographs from earlier this century, earlier last century, or even in the 19th century. And if they think they're inconsequential, they're not. They, they offer a window in the past. You know, it's if you come to Prony, you can see all manner of information here. You can see written correspondence, you can see journals, you can see diaries. Now, the problem with those is you have to decipher the handwriting, so it takes a while to establish some kind of connection with that kind of material. Photographs are completely different. They, all the information is there for you to see, and we do thrive in information like that, you know. And because we've now moved into the digital sphere, we're putting information out in Flickr so it can be shared around the world. You don't have to visit Prony. We want you to visit Prony, of course, but you can see things at home on your laptop, on your iPad, on your PC. You can look and see these images, and I think, yeah, they're a window in the past. What more do you want?